Hello guys, I am Mr. Niladri Ghoshal. Today, I will explain about the Feedback Regulated Drug Delivery System. This Feedback Regulated Drug Delivery System or this group of drug delivery system is activated by using the triggering agent. Then it releases the drug from its reservoir. The rate of the drug releasing is typically controlled by the triggering agent concentration. Here, the bioresponsive sensor is actually detect the concentration of the triggering agent and then the drug has been released out from the drug reservoir. Let's start the topic feedback regulated drug delivery system. Today we will discuss the concept classification, bioerosion regulated drug delivery system, bioresponsive drug delivery system under which the glucose triggered insulin delivery system we will discuss and the self regulated drug delivery system finally the conclusion. So let's come to the concept first. The concept says that physiological response which is mainly triggered the delivery system and then the drug has released out from the particular delivery system. This delivery system consisting of the rate controlling element under which the drug is placed and it is composed of biochemical responsive sensor also. This drug biochemical responsive sensor and rate controlling element is accumulate and the delivery system will generate where the rate controlling element is there and under which the reservoir contain or consisting of the drug. Over this rate controlling element, the biochemical responsive sensor is placed. When the physiological response has triggered the biochemical responsive sensor, then the drug is released from the core to the outside of the delivery system. Next come to the classification. The classification consisting of three types which are bioerosion regulated drug delivery system, bioresponsive drug delivery system and self regulated drug delivery system. First come to the bioerosion regulated drug delivery system. The bioerosion regulated drug delivery system consisted of the drug dispersed bioerodable matrix polyvinyl methyl ether. This picture shows that the bioerodable matrix which is the polyvinyl methyl ether under which the drug is placed and next point says that the total bioerodable matrix is covered by the immobilized urease. This is the immobilized urease which is placed over this bioerodable matrix. There have some function of this immobilized urease. Let's come to the next slide where we can see that which is uh, the immobilized urease which is showed in previous slide. There the bioerodable matrix uh, is placed uh, over which the uh, immobilized urease is placed and this immobilized urease is produce the ammonia inside our body in the presence of urea which causes the increasing of pH degradation of the polymer matrix as well as finally the drug has been released out from the matrix. Next is bioresponsive drug delivery system. Here the drug reservoir is consisted or contained in a device enclosed by a bioresponsive polymeric membrane whose drug permeability is controlled by the concentration of the biochemical agent in the tissue where the system is located. This is the biochemical agent mainly the responsible for the releasing of the drug from the delivery system and this biochemical agent is triggered the bioresponsive sensor. This is the delivery system and where the bioresponsive sensor is placed. The drug is placed inside the core and when the biochemical agent is triggered over this bioresponsive sensor and then the drug is releasing out from the core to the outside of the device. The example of bioresponsive drug delivery system is the glucose triggered insulin delivery system. This glucose triggered insulin delivery system I will discuss in the next slide. The glucose triggered insulin delivery system shows that the insulin reservoir which is covered by hydrogel membrane and this hydrogel membrane composed of amide group. This amide group actually stable into 
the alkaline solution next point is the hydrogen membrane is swollen and impermeable to insulin next point says that the glucose is transformed into gluconic acid in the presence of oxidase enzyme uh, and h plus ion this process triggered the protonation of the amide group into the n plus r2h the hydrogen layer becomes swollen and thus permeable to the insulin molecule next is the self regulated drug delivery system this type of feedback regulated drug delivery system depends on a reversible and competitive binding mechanism to activate and regulate the release of the drug this is the system we can see here where the bioresponsive sensor is placed and one core is there where the drug is placed so the concavelin a the carbohydrate binding protein is placed inside this core in which one glycosylated insulin one glycosylated insulin is attached over this concavelin a or carbohydrate binding protein this glycosylated insulin is mainly responsible for this self regulated drug delivery system one glucose which is mainly come from our blood or generated in our body by digestion of our food this glucose is come inside the self regulated drug delivery system and placed over this glycosylated insulin let's come to the next uh, picture where we can see that the concavelin a is placed and uh, that one glycosylated insulin is not here so where is this this glucose is replaced the glycosylated insulin and placed over this place and this glycosylated insulin finally came out from the delivery system the glycosylated insulin is the insulin sugar derivative next is the conclusion the feedback regulated approaches have been used effectively in insulin release in response to the changing glucose level for the diabetic treatments however relatively limited work has been done in the area of the opioid overdose mainly this feedback regulated drug delivery system worked over the diabetic treatments